is your host, Alex Garrett. And here we are. It is Sunday. And once again, thank you to Spreaker for sharing uh, my story about them, actually. But nonetheless, thank you for sharing. And uh, the topic I did not get to on Friday, I've saved it for the Sunday pod because this moment is the moment of the week. The state of South Carolina, County of Colleton, in the Court of General Sessions in the term of 2022, July, the state versus Richard Alexander Murdoch defendant, indictment for murder, SC code 16-3-0010, CDR code 0116, guilty verdict. And there you go, guilty verdict. For one, Alec, Alex, no one really knows. But here's, here's the thing about this verdict. It's one comment that South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson said that really uh, got my ears perked up. You know why? You know why? Because this comment should be played over and over in Albany. Today's verdict proves that no one, no one, no matter who you are in society, is above the law. No one is above the law. Unless you're in New York State, where bail reform has you committing a shooting on a subway and then headlining a comedy club the day, the, a week later. Or a few days later. We don't know if this shooter showed up, but hell, he was billed? That was uh, even a possibility? We have a state where two pizzeria guys, father and son duo, have to step in. Have to step in. And thank God they did. Thank God they did. The father-son duo of Kazim Solchovic and his son Louis Solchovic, right over at Louis Pizzeria in Elmhurst, Queens, stepped in. After there was a violent mugging outside their Queens Pizzeria nearly a year ago in 2022. But they have a message for crime-weary New Yorkers, according to the New York Post. Don't give up hope or your lease. But here are two guys doing the job of protecting their little area and in a bigger example of their city. And how does this tie to Alec Murdoch? Well, quite frankly, he was jailed. He was sentenced to life, rightfully so. But yet here in New York, we're struggling to protect our own neighborhoods from people being let out on bail uh, for free. By people, because the muggers outside the shop in Queens were actually... (laughs) found a month later attacking an elderly woman, assaulting an elderly woman. So these crimes aren't sporadic. They're happening nearly every day, every month, and here in New York, they're not getting life sentences or even a sentence. So what Alan Wilson is saying right here from South Carolina should be ringing bells in Albany. Let me play it for you again. Today's verdict proves that no one, no one, no matter who you are in society, is above the law. And this guy, Alec Murdoch, this killer, I guess he's stupid. It was a stupid decision to take the stand. But more than that, he thought killing his wife and son to hide from the other crimes that he might be getting more jail time for, by the way, financial crimes would be hiding all the the problems he has. This was family he shot, and he's getting jail time for life. Now, yes, South Carolina, I think, must have a different uh, viewpoint on things in their laws. But I know there's a fight to reform the bail reform law. In other words make it more stringent. 
if a family man, quote unquote, family man, a prominent family man can go to jail for life for killing his own family members, then why the hell can justice be done for people in New York that are killed by random strangers who want to just push someone onto a subway track? Who want to just, I don't know, open fire on a subway? Who want to open fire or even shoplift or rob or carjack? Those random occurrences are being dismissed and I don't think judges are happy about it but but some of them are leaning into this bail reform right obviously they're being put back on the streets some are leaning into it some feel like they have no choice but to let them out and I'm sure some judges are up there torn but if throwing money at the problem and thinking that you're so above the law that you can kill your family is a punishable offense, then shouldn't it be punishable to kill and to harm random strangers that you don't know in New York City and not be out on bail just hours later? Just days later? Well, thank God for pre-trial detention. Hey, guess what? They don't show up if they're not even detained. They don't show up for their trial. Well, thank God for lower incarceration. Okay, maybe for the minor offenses, but why are the big offenses, like a shooting on the subway, uh, being excused, and then the guy gets to be billed on a comedy club uh, headline? Just days later. Or why, after... The hard work of the Soldjeviks, the Soldjeviks, do they have to uh, defend their own area only to see the assailants of the violent mugging be able to get back out and, hey, a month later, get arrested again? But I, I love the grit, but it makes you wonder, you know, if New Yorkers have to not only step up and defend their turf, why aren't the politicians helping out as well? Governor Kathy Hochul, you have less than a month to go before your budget. And you can't even get a, you know, an appeals judge confirmed? You can't even get them to agree on bail reform changes in Albany? And you were voted in. You're the first female governor. Congratulations, by the way. But what are you doing? You've got less than a month to go. And I know the 4201 situation is still up there as well, up in the air, about whether or not funding for kids with disabilities can happen. And so we are under a month away. And here's what I would play in Albany if I were the governor of this state of New York over and over again. The South Carolina Attorney General, Alan Wilson, after the verdict of Alec or Alex Murdoch. Today's verdict proves that no one, no one, no matter who you are in society, is above the law. No one is above the law. But here in New York, they just disregard the law. They just say, let's change the law to make it easier for criminals to be back on the street. That's what they're saying. And it shouldn't be that way. And I'm looking up what's latest on bail reform, and they're saying, well, activists don't want don't want bail reform to end and they want the Rikers to close. They want criminals out on the street. And here's the problem. Albany's listening to the activists, not the hardworking Americans, not the hardworking people, not the hardworking New Yorkers, like Louis Pizzeria in Elmhurst. Like Louis Pizzeria in Elmhurst. But it sounds like South Carolina listened to the community and also the facts 
of the Murdoch trial. And here's one other thing, okay? This happened in June of 2021, which can only mean one thing. Can we not say this shooting of Maggie and Paul Murdoch was also a result not only of his own pressure, of, of, of Alec Murdoch's pressures, but of the pressures of the lockdown. This should be the poster child for how bad it got during the pandemic with divorce rates up and domestic violence rates up. Speaking of pizzerias, you know, women were actually phoning in with a code word to make sure police were on the way so that their abuser didn't hear them during the pandemic. Didn't, weren't tipped off during the pandemic. Oh yeah, the media didn't tell you that domestic abuse was up, but it was. And if this shooting it can be a Netflix documentary because how alliteration it is. Murder Murders. Perfect Netflix series. We'll scope in everything. But I bet they won't really talk about how this was happening in the thick of the pandemic. Yeah, June 2021. But hell, we went through hell in 2020. And I can't imagine the pressures that were building up for Alec Murdo with a lockdown. And maybe it's not advisable to link the pandemic shutdowns to this. Maybe it's totally unrelatable because they were a decade apart when his financial troubles really started to happen for this quote-unquote law- lawyer scion. I gotta look that word up, by the way. But at the end of the day... This shooting, uh, well, this verdict and this sentencing should not only be applauded, but should be looked at as a benchmark for maybe law coming back into this country. Maybe Chicago voting out Lori Lightfoot, Lightfoot is a sign that law is coming back into this country. Maybe Governor Hochul can have a backbone in Albany and bring law back to New York State. Just maybe, maybe this quote by Alan Wilson can be played everywhere. Not just in a high-profile case, but what about the bodega store that gets robbed? What about the smoke shop in New York State that gets robbed or has violence in it? Today's verdict proves that no one No one, no matter who you are in society, is above the law. Amen, as the one guy says. So I want to see that in action here in Albany. I want to see that in action in Chicago. I want to see it in action for defense of the lawful Americans who want to defend ourselves from the awful, lawless I can't even call them Americans if they're committing crimes like this. If you can put Alec Murdoch in jail for life, you can sure as well put that local criminal behind bars for something as bad as shooting up a subway and not let him appear on even the headline of a comedy club. Not so funny. When you think about it, I'm Alex Garrett. Another wisdom talk. We'll talk to you soon here on the podcast network.